For over 150 years, doctors have tried to stimulate the body's immune response to cancer. The therapy was discovered by Dr. James Allison and Dasuku Honjo, who were awarded the 2018 Nobel Prize in Physiology for their work. Claire meets the local team that's helped develop immunotherapy for certain types of cancer that were once labelled incurable. In 2007, Dr. C.Y. Chan was a fledgling doctor training to become an oncologist. When I just became a doctor, I came across cancer patients. Mm -hmm. And during one of the rotation of the cancer training, I just felt like, you know, this is amazing because the science has been improving so much. She now heads up all cancer trials at Santon's Oncology Center, using that scientific advancement to save terminal cancer patients' lives. Traditionally, there were four types of cancer treatments, chemotherapy, radiotherapy, surgery, and targeted therapy. And then came along immunotherapy. It's a life-changing treatment, and it's as simple as going in for a 30-minute drip every three weeks. So the traditional treatment of cancer usually consists of trying to create a drug that kills the cancer directly. Cancer is always very clever. It will always bypass that pressure, and that's how we get recurrence. Now, with immunotherapy, we are merely using the drug to correct our own immune system in order for our immune system to go and kill the cancer ourselves. Dr. Chan has 359 patients currently enrolled in 27 global trials consisting of various kinds of cancer. So the earliest trial is on a petri dish. And then if there's any interaction between the drug and the cancer, and that shows promises, then we will enter into what we call a phase one trial in order to find a safe dose to be given to human beings. Then we will move on to the phase two trials. And what we needed to find out is whether there's any efficacy in a real world setting. Then we move on to what we call a phase three trial. Now the control group usually is consisting of the standard of care. For example, in lung cancer, it had been chemotherapy. So the control group would be chemotherapy and a placebo. So that's how we compare whether the trial drug would exert a better survival benefit than the control arm. In 2016, we reported on the first immunotherapy drug trials in South Africa. Now in 2021, the drugs are better, cheaper and are twice as effective, all thanks to oncology units that participate in global trials like this one. Since then, we have developed another drug, which is called pembolizumab. Now, what usually happens is that the immune cells is able to identify the cancer and go directly and kill the cancer. However, the cancer is very clever. It created a block between the cancer and the immune cells. What we needed to do is we need to create an antibody, and this basically breaks the bond or this blockage. Ten years ago, you didn't meet a melanoma survivor. Then immunotherapy came along, and Graham Hayes, who was diagnosed with stage 4 melanoma, was given a new lease on life at 69 years old. I developed a lump on the side of my neck. The primary lesion was already 2.5 centimetres in size. His illness coincided with the beginning of Dr Chan's pembrolizumab drug trial. They were seeing something like 60% uh, successful results. So from our point of view, you know, it was a no-brainer, except the cost. Because it's metastatic, you need 34 treatments. So that's 3.4 million rand. Discovery will pay up to 75% of that. She said, well, I'm running a trial on behalf of the drug manufacturers. You are a perfect candidate. And trials are free. Although expensive, the prices have decreased from 250,000 rand per treatment and are cheaper than other countries like America. It costs approximately 82,000 rand every three weeks. Okay, so you can imagine that it's really not affordable at all. However, most of the major medical aids do support the patients, but only on a higher tier of the medical aid. Hayes had few side effects. This was the most extraordinary thing. My lifestyle hadn't changed from the time that I heard the news to the time to where I've now got to where I'm, where I'm cancer-free. And immunotherapy patients remain cancer-free. 
Doctors always trial stage four patients first to see the efficacy in someone who was told the disease would kill them. Anne Schmidt was extremely short of breath, only to find out that she had stage four lung cancer around Christmas 2019. She was given only three months to live. I was feeling out of breath, I was wheezing, I started to cough again. I had already had uh, one lobe of a lung removed. Schmidt decided instead of surgery and chemotherapy, this time she wouldn't fight it. You don't want to eat, you lose all your weight, you know, you just want to curl up in a little ball. But then Dr. Chan offered her a spot on the trial. And then I thought they can learn something from this immunotherapy, I'll go for it. So your motivation was for the scientists and the doctors to learn about immunotherapy? I didn't think I'd get better. And slowly but surely, the tumours started decreasing. And I started to feel great. So where are we now? My doctor just said to me, if, if they didn't know what they were looking for when they did the last scan, they wouldn't see anything. I was astounded. I'd got hold of hospice and I've got arranged the whole death scene and then I didn't die. And hospice plans are the best plans to be cancelled. I live to fight another day. Some cancer patients started on other treatments before going on to immunotherapy. Philip Brotherton had stage 4 renal pelvis cancer and explains the difference between the side effects of chemotherapy and immunotherapy. I was booked in on the morning of the 24th of December, 2018, day before Christmas. If you go into chemo and you see everyone with chemo and uh, you start to have another perspective on life and you look at some of the people there, you know, you're feeling sorry for yourself or whatever. It doesn't matter. You've got to make your mind up mm. whether you're going to be positive or negative because the negative will kill you. Dr. Chan then switched him to immunotherapy, which Brotherton decided was worth the cost. I found God during this whole ordeal. And I'm cancer-free. I'm, I'm actually a, a miracle. What would you say to those people who are just like you, sceptical about immunotherapy? I'd say to them, catch a wake up. Give it a bash. I mean, don't stop fighting. Try, fight. He says Dr. Chan really bonds with her patients. What we did discover over time is that she does have a dry, a dry sense of humor. Because every time I'd see her, I'd have another mark on my body where I'd fallen off my bike. And then she'd, she'd look up and she'd say, you're not very good, are you? South Africans are now able to check where trials are available through this website. So this is the clinicaltrials.gov. For example, I wanted to look for a melanoma trial for my patient, and then it's stage four, and then it will give you all the recruiting studies at this moment. So I don't think we can get rid of chemotherapy or radiotherapy or any other traditional um, treatment yet. So we needed to understand why the other 50% um, of patients do not respond to immunotherapy and what are the other uh, hurdles within the immune system that we need to overcome. Thank you for watching our stories here online and please subscribe below to become part of our YouTube community and be notified when we upload our latest content.